Hello musicians! In this video I am going to introduce you to eighth note rests as are found on page 9 in Essential Elements book 2. So, so far we have only been dealing with quarter note rests, half note rests, and whole note rests. But eighth notes have their own rests as well uh, because sometimes we only want to rest for one eighth note or we want to write it in a way where we would see a rest for the two eighth notes separately. So, up until now, we've seen our eighth notes in a pair of two, worth one beat. One and, for example, two and. One beat, both parts. Those eighth notes, if we were to draw them separately without that beam that connects them at the top, could be drawn like this with little flags. That's called a flag right there, that little swoop that sticks out. And this is the same as that. It's just written differently. It's written with each eighth note as a flag. Now we don't often write them like that um, in our music, but that's just to show you that it's worth the same amount. Usually if we have an eighth note with a flag, it's because it's gonna be followed by a rest. Now, an eighth note rest looks like this. It looks like a funny like letter seven with a little ball and a swoop. I draw it like this. Looks a little bit like a harp too. Um, so maybe practice drawing some eighth note rests. And those eighth note rests are going to be worth an eighth note. How long is an eighth note? Half a beat. So each one of these guys is just worth half of a beat for a rest. Now what does that mean for us when we play? This means that when we have an eighth note by itself, we're gonna have to stop our bow on string to allow for the other half of the beat to be a rest. So in this example I drew right here, this is one measure with four beats. On beats one, two, three, and four, we have an eighth note. On the other half of those beats, which we, in music terminology, we say the word and when we count, we have a rest. One rest, two rest, three rest, four rest. One and two and three and four and. On my instrument, I would just be stopping my bow and listening for that half beat. Ready? And. One and two and three and four and. So you want to hear that silence. So I'm literally stopping my bow on the string. And, 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 and. If it helps you just to count on those rests, you can do that. One rest, two rest, rest, rest. Two rest, two rest, two rest, two rest. Like two T's if you'd like to count. And this is going to set yourself up for page nine in your Essential Elements book, and that's going to prepare you for dotted quarter notes coming up next. Good luck. Let me know if you have any questions.